Induction into the Maryland Women's Hall of Fame is a great honor. I'm deeply appreciative and humbled. I served in public elected office for more than 30 years in Howard County, first as a county council member, then as county executive, followed by 20 years as a member of the Maryland House of Delegates. In all three of those positions, I focused on the priority of justice, social, economic, and environmental justice. My main role model in life, my mom, Helen Monette Gilner, had an enormous impact on me by demonstrating her love of good literature. Due to her influence, I became a literature major in college. Years later, as a young mom myself, I applied to law school, and while preparing for the law school aptitude test, was surprised to learn that literature majors routinely fared best in that endeavor. My mom sent me in that direction by her example, working as a secretary, and through her clearly evident joy in reading every evening at home. I recall few examples of gender discrimination in my political life. There was one example, however, that stood out early when I was running for the office of Howard County Executive. A gentleman from another county approached me at a public policy meeting and inquired, what are you going to do as county executive? Bake cookies? I declined to answer, but did get back to him later at a Maryland Association of Counties meeting after Howard County received its first triple A bond rating during my term in office. Many challenges continue to face women today. We must learn to value every life, regardless of gender, race, nationality, or economic status. Every single life is precious. Whenever a young woman asks me what she should focus on in life, my answer is get to know yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses, your loves, and your fears. Come from your strengths. Above all, always come from love, not fear.